Welcome back to SN Studios. Today, we bring you a gripping story from Bradford. In a shocking turn of events, a trio of self-proclaimed vigilantes have been sentenced to jail. Their crime? Confronting, beating, and violently kidnapping at knife point a so-called predatory landlord who deceived them out of a deposit for an uninhabitable flat. Zaire Jackson Birchall, 27, Jafrico Smith Gardner, 25, and his sister Shanaki Smith Gardner, 28, bundled the man into a car in broad daylight and drove him to Sheffield, where he was held against his will. Bradford Crown Court heard that over a seven-hour period, the man was blindfolded, threatened, punched, slapped, and offered water from a dog bowl before being rescued by police and freed. The degrading experience left him psychologically traumatized and with cuts, bruises, and a nail torn from his finger. In the meantime, his father received a telephone call demanding 5,000 pounds for the safe return of his son. The father, in terror, went to a bank to withdraw the cash where he had a near breakdown. The court heard that Shanake Smith Gardner had responded to an advertisement for a flat to rent in Bradford and was driven there from Sheffield on August 11, 2022 by Jackson Birchall. She met the landlord, withdrew £400 as a deposit and paid it to him. However, the flat was found to be in an abandoned looking building. Jackson Birchall messaged him to complain it was a scam, threatened to go to the police and demanded, just send the money back. No reply was received. The trio asked a friend to make a fake inquiry to the landlord about one of his properties and to arrange to meet the very next day so they could get his ass and extract revenge. Wearing balaclavas, they met the landlord in the Barker End area and, in a confrontation caught on CCTV, hit him twice on the head with a rock, threatened him at knife point and chased him down the street before frog marching him into a car in front of shock witnesses. He was driven to an address in Popple Street in Sheffield, where calls were made to his father, demanding £5,000 if he wanted to see his son again. Prosecutor Felicity Hemlin said, There was a clear intention to get him to a place where they could confront him, effectively acting in a vigilante manner. There is clearly provocation there. Someone has been defrauded out of a few hundred pounds. One may think that whatever action occurred, didn't merit the extent of what was meted out thereafter. No victim personal statement was put forward. The court heard that the landlord was restrained and assaulted in Sheffield and subjected to what the judge said was an attempt at waterboarding as hot water was poured over his face whilst he was blindfolded. Other evidence presented by the landlord was said to be unreliable and exaggerated. Jarico Smith Gardiner pleaded guilty to kidnap false imprisonment and blackmail. His sister Shanake Smith Gardiner and Zaire Jackson Birchall were found guilty at trial of kidnap and false imprisonment but acquitted of blackmail. Mitigating, Philip Mahoney said the kidnapping and false imprisonment were a spontaneous escalation that arose out of the confrontation and were not premeditated. He said, It's one thing to say that the fraud was for a few hundred pounds. The conduct that the landlord was engaging him with a lot of other people is, in its own way, quite despicable. It is targeted, predatory defrauding of people at the bottom of society who have very little money, living in an age when affordable housing is desperately short. Those are the people that the landlord chose to fleece. Judge Burns said, The evidence at the trial made it quite clear in my view that this was the latest in a series of advertisements in respect of flats or other properties which either didn't exist, were occupied or were in such a state as to be unoccupiable, I accept that you felt you had been defrauded. The right course of action for all of you would have been to have gone to the police as complainants in a fraud allegation. Instead, because of the choices that you took at that time and the actions that you subsequently took, you now fall for sentence as convicted defendants in a case in which the landlord is the complainant. It is clear from the jury's verdicts that they did not consider the landlord to be an entirely reliable witness. In my judgment, his account of the circumstances 
of the kidnap is generally borne out. However, his continuing assertion that the trigger for this incident was nothing to do with fraudulent activity in the face of substantial evidence to the contrary, coupled with his taking advantage of the privilege against self-incrimination as a witness, even on matters which were not connected with those allegations of fraud, undoubtedly drove the jury to the conclusion that his account of events at Popple Street was either untrue in some parts or exaggerated in others. He sentenced Zaire Jackson Birchall to six years and eight months for each count of kidnap and false imprisonment to run concurrently. Shanake Smith Gardner received five years for each count to run concurrently. And Jarika Smith Gardner was handed a five year sentence for kidnap and false imprisonment, plus 18 months for blackmail to run concurrently. This is SN Studios. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on local news and stories. Thanks for watching.